Hi guys, welcome to Rugby Scrum Skills. If you're a subscriber, thanks a lot. If you're not, subscribe down the bottom here, uh, get updates. Although it's called Rugby Scrum Skills, we do look at other aspects of coaching, uh, line out, breakdown, some other coach stuff. Um, so th to, this is about you learning, uh, helping yourself as a player or a coach to get better. So today we've got some clips that I want to show you around the breakdown. Uh, from the recent England France autumn internationals okay so I hope you like them if you like them give me a thumbs up uh, again subscribe to the channel all the details are in the notes down the bottom uh, and then you'll get kept up to date thanks a lot okay so what we're going to look at here is in the France England game it's just a turnover from France okay so good catch into contact. Okay, they're there. England, this this guy here, he smells blood in the water. The nine is not really sure on what he's going to do with the ball. He's looked around a couple of times. So he comes in, cleans this guy out, and just keeps powering through. Okay, off his feet, back on it. He hasn't touched the ball yet, so he's back on his feet. He's driving through, and then he gets two more guys come through. But now we've got... English guys in front of the ball. So these guys are, can't do anything. Okay, so now France just keep piling numbers through and they turn the ball over. Okay, so it's really good counter ruck. Okay, uh, that first defender there, he just stayed alive, kept the ball going um, and just waited for his support players once he got in behind. So yeah, good counter ruck. Okay, so here's a turnover from the England-France game. This is in the second half. Um, you just watch Maro Atoje here. As the ball goes up, he's just watching the ball. He comes through, and he's not even in shot yet. Um, he's let the guys in front of him do the job. There he is there. He's popped up. He's straight away, he's made that decision that this guy's not going to beat him to the clean out. Okay. So he's straight on this ball, okay, because what happened, this defender has come in to clean out this bloke here. He's made the wrong decision at, at the breakdown. He should have cleaned out a Toje, which he didn't. He's cleaned out, I think that's Joe Lawsbury. Okay, so he's cleaned him out. There's no pressure on a Toje at all. So he's just on that ball, and when a guy like that gets on the ball, you're not moving him, okay? Um, so just a poor defensive read. By the first defend the first arriving defender. Uh, if we go back and have a look there, he's okay. He's coming to take this guy out here, probably trying to milk a free kick from the referee. Okay, but if he'd have stayed square and taken out a Toje, okay, there a Toje is going to win that every day of the week, and then he's on it. And what I really like here is that. They just change the point of attack. Now they just go wide. They got forwards in the back line that can pass, okay? And they just they just decided to go wide, okay? Uh, so a big turnover uh, from Atoje, just from a wrong read in defence from France. Okay, so here we're going to look at a turnover in centre field by France after the English line out. Okay, so if we watch here. Farrell gets the ball and he plays a little tip ball to his runner but the French come up really quickly, really hard and kept that straight line. So here's the tip, okay? But what they've done is they've tipped. This guy's carried into contact and there's no one there to clean out, okay? Farrell starts looking for his next job. We've got some defenders here. They've seen that opportunity. Okay, Farrell didn't come in. The nine's come in. He's still trying to direct traffic. Okay, Joe Marler's the only one that come in to help out. Arguably, he may have been coming in from the side, but that wasn't picked up. So Farrell didn't give any support at that breakdown. France were just in there, and they've turned that ball over. Okay. So that's a good turnover from France. Okay, and relieve some pressure. 
Thanks for watching the little clips that I put together around the breakdown and how they can effectively turn the ball over. Hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get updates when I put more stuff up. Again, this is about you guys. It's about helping you guys develop as either a coach or as a player. So if you take a little snippet away from it, that's great. Uh, feel free to give me any feedback that you like. Um, stay safe.